All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a debt free chicken farm on Farming Simulator 19. We're going to go ahead and set up this farm on Ravenport, the stock map. Uh, it's not so important where you do this so much as getting a grasp of the mechanics of a chicken farm or, or a poultry farm, if you will. Uh, the money from this kind of farm comes from the eggs that the chickens produce, of course. So the first thing uh, we want to do <clears throat> is go to the menu here. And we are going to purchase the land down here for this base farm. So it's going to cost us just over $360,000. But just like Monopoly, you can't make money if you don't have land. So we'll purchase that. And then the next thing I want to do is go here to the finances. And we're going to pay off this $250,000 loan. We're not going to need anywhere near that to get started with this kind of farm. Uh, now, what I'm gonna show you is just the very basic setup, all right? We're not gonna, we're not gonna do every minor detail uh, for setting up a farm. So we have three fields on this little parcel of land. We've got some sunflowers here, some canola here, and some cotton here. So the good news is we have three fields that we'll be able to plant. The bad news is none of these crops can feed chickens. We either need, I believe it's wheat or barley that we can feed them. So we're gonna have to buy some to start with. But the first thing I wanna do is place our chicken pen. So go to your store, go over to the placeables, go to the animal pens. Now, we can start off with this small chicken coop or the large chicken coop. The difference is the number of chickens. So if you're doing this to be your main farm, you want chickens to be your primary item, uh, your primary purpose, then you might want to go ahead with the large chicken coop, which is what I'm going to do just for fun. And we've got some, some areas here that it could work, maybe like there, see it turns green. We could potentially put our chicken coop up there. Uh, if you wanted to not harvest your cotton, you could put it here. Although I don't recommend that since you've already got fields made. Or uh, we could put it here. Now, you'll notice that there's really only two places you're going to need to go with this. Uh, you don't need to give chickens water. Now, I don't understand that. I, don't, I think that chickens should need water just like any other animal, but they did not make that uh, an issue with or something that you need to do with this game. So we're going to give them grain and we're going to pick up eggs. That's pretty much all we need to do for this one. Uh, so now that I've got that placed, we'll go ahead and walk down here and you can check it out I didn't have to do anything raising or lowering of land on this and it's a little bit high but not too bad so we're gonna put our grain here and right here will, is where we will purchase our chickens and right here is where we will pick up some our eggs so I'll show you that uh, so what we need is to purchase a few pallets of grain and a tractor to haul them down here and I'm gonna go ahead and order these things and then we'll tab up and get them I like to go with a medium tractor it's obviously your your prerogative um, how you want to do that I like this Massey Ferguson here so we'll go ahead and put the front loader on it and buy this tractor and we need to go to the front loaders we'll select this one because it's the right size for a bigger tractor and then we don't need bales for 
chickens. So we'll go ahead and get the pallet forks. We are going to need a little trailer. We're going to use a little bale trailer. Um, and I know when you look at this, you think that's not a bale trailer. That's a grain trailer. But you can actually configure it this way, which is what we want to do because we're going to put seed bags on it. And then after we dump the seeds, uh, pardon me, not seed, feed bags in it. And after we dump those in, we'll wait a little bit and we'll have egg boxes, which we can also put on here. Really, if you wanted to, you could probably do this with a pickup truck to deliver the eggs. But I'm going to go with this, this setup. Alrighty. And now we just need our bags of... So here's the, these are the different types of feed and you can see premium chicken feed. I know somebody in the comments is going to say, that's a stupid way to do it. You're overpaying. Well, obviously it's only a thousand liters and it's $1,500. It's a horrible deal, but I'm showing you how to get it up and running. I'm not showing you the best way to do things because what you'll do if this is really going to be your farm is you'll get a combine and you'll bring in those crops and you'll take them and make the money for those crops and then you can use the money that you make for those crops to buy things like a cedar and put in your own crop of chicken feed but i'm not going to do all of that in a brief tutorial this is just to show you how to get things up and running to make the chickens produce and to start making money off of them Some people have said that the eggs are really, you know, a valuable way to go. I think they're okay. I don't think they're amazing. Um, I, I, I like working with pigs and cows, I think most, but that's personal preference. So if you like working with chickens, go for it. I'm going to go ahead and put these bags of, actually I'm going to probably put one on the wagon and I'll probably put one just on the forks, save myself a little bit of grief here. If, for those of you who haven't done much with the front loaders in this game, it can be, how shall I say, challenging to get everything right. It's often hard to see what you're doing. You have to zoom in close to see where your tines are, where your pallet forks are. And that can be a real pain to make sure that you have them set up right. But then you have to move your camera again to do other parts of the work. It, it's, it's genuinely tricky. And when you when you're backing up like this, don't go too fast or the feed will fly off of the pallet forks. I've done that before. Uh, this game has a, a lot of, I don't know, quirks is probably too insulting of a word for what I mean, but it has a lot of idiosyncrasies, some things that you have to get used to playing. But anyways, if this is your first tutorial uh, that you're watching on my channel, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate uh, you being here, and hopefully you're, you're learning a little bit about how to make a profitable poultry farm while you're here. I have done a few of these for other livestock, but I, I really thought it would be fun to show the poultry setup because it, it's a little bit less labor intensive, but it's still, I think, interesting to have a goal to work towards. Uh, you'll see once the egg boxes start piling up, uh, there's a mod. I, I don't know if it's available on consoles. I know that it's available for PC that is a, an egg crate. But basically, instead of these little egg boxes with only, I think, 250 liters in each one, you can save up until you have a bigger crate. And, and then therefore take fewer trips, which I think is a good idea. I haven't, uh, 
I haven't personally used it, but I think that if you were going to do this on a major scale, you would you would want to do that. So you've got a couple different styles here. You might already know this, but if you want to improve your reproduction rate, then get all the same style of chicken uh, or color variation, if you want to call it that. So we'll just do uh, this pen holds a hundred, right? Is that, that's what we said. So maybe we'll do, let's do, I guess that's 20. And then we'll get a rooster to improve our, or to create reproduction. I don't think you can have reproduction without a rooster. So now we've got some roosters here. I am going to, uh, Back up a little bit. I'm gonna unfasten that one so I can come over and get it. So you just want to go here to this trough and put the grain over top of it. I like to just for my own entertainment's sake get close there so that it looks like you're actually in the trough. And it should take it all. Now we can look in the animal status. And it'll tell us it's not showing productivity yet because it didn't register yet. But we, it's almost perfect it was because of the number of chickens we have. So it's not going to take this other one just yet. But what I'm going to do is put that one down on the side here because we're going to be, I'm going to hurry up, hurry up, speed up, I think is what I meant to say. I'm going to speed up time. So that we can get some egg boxes and I can show you where to take them. So you can see how that works. So what I would probably do if I was going to play this save out long term is I would probably put in some sort of little machinery building uh, or better yet a silo to store grain. Not not in pallet form but in, in you know, dump, dump the grain into that and take it to, to make your money. And, uh, I would store grain for the chicken feed somewhere here nearby. And honestly, with this, this little parcel of land that, what did we say we paid, like 360000 for it, and, and we're free and clear, we have no debt now, uh, this could be a profitable little farm. And what you would want to do, you know, maybe you lease the harvester, uh, but what you would want to do eventually is probably purchase this this field as well and get your house built. That's a if you go with with the stock house. I'm just going to speed up time so that we can get some egg boxes here. Um, but if you go with the stock house that comes with the game, that's something like two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I think that's a bit astronomical. Uh, while we wait here, I'll I'll just go ahead and and give a little bit of feedback on on FS19. I personally have been playing this game since uh, FS15 on PC. Then I did FS17 on Xbox, and now I'm back to PC. I've got a little beefier computer for it this time around, uh, and and the mods really open this game up. I'm showing you this tutorial using just uh, basically things that would be available for console. But one of the things that I think they should do, because they have this whole built-in farm manager slash start from scratch, they should make more affordable houses and they should make smaller buildings. I mean, if you look here uh, under the placeables, uh, not place. I want uh, farmhouses. Oh, it's 180,000. Okay, I guess they must have dropped the price a little bit from when it first came out. That's still an astronomical amount of money. They could have small little shacks, little shanties for much cheaper than that, just so that you could get started. And if you wanted to eventually build up to this, you could. Uh, they also, in the sheds, the cheapest one is this $9,000 one, but even if they had sheds that were like a, a portion of that and maybe ones that had lower walls so that you could put things like grain in it, I think that would be 
that would be good. So <clears throat> we're not seeing any progress on the eggs here. Uh-oh, what do we do wrong? It says they're 100% productive. They're clean. We didn't get a bucket to clean them out. That's going to be something else that we need. So um, we could do that while we wait. Now, if you want, you could get a bucket for this, or you could get a whole nother implement. What I'm going to do while we wait for the eggs to start producing, I forget exactly how long it took the first time I got eggs, but while we wait for that, I'll run up and get a bucket so I can show you how to, how to keep them clean as well. But it, as you'll see, there's just going to be a little bit of messy grain that falls out of the, the grain trough. Uh, in past versions of the game, I don't know if I've really seen it too much on FS19, but some people will get one of the conveyor belts, basically, and put it in the food zone so that it dumps the food out of the trough. And they don't have to constantly be coming through to scrape it up. I think that's a neat idea. I, it's not necessarily something I would personally decide to do. Uh, I tried it on FS17 and it seemed like a good bit of a hassle. It really all comes down to how much livestock you have. You know, if you're just running one chicken coop um, with you know, a hundred chickens that will go through some grain, but it's not nearly the same as if you have two or three of those big 400 chicken coops. I mean, that that's that will keep you busy all the time. Working on that. So now that we're here, I really doubt that anybody at Giants uh, is aware of this tutorial series but just in case someone is watching this I would like to point out that these items are too close to the store this isn't too bad because I can sneak around here and get it but like when you have a big old combine and it's all the way in the, that those spots that's just silly they should have it spawn either out here or I think it would be great if they put an option in for you to have equipment be delivered. I would even pay like an extra 5% or something like that. If I could have had this bucket delivered to my to my shop, that would be fantastic. And that would allow me, you know, I would have saved all that time. I don't have a lot to do on this little farm, but you know, maybe you spend that time chopping down a tree or spend that time plowing the next field, planting the next field, those kinds of things. I, I just, I think it would be helpful to have that done for us. Uh, I just don't really like the simple errand part of the game. I like the farming part. And I mean, I don't own a farm, but I would assume that most places if you're giving them thousands of dollars worth of business if you called and said I'd like you to deliver that utility bucket to my farm they would probably say okay we will <laughs> uh, wow no mess that seems hard to believe and no eggs ah but there are eggs so I can show you so you walk over here and you pick it up and you put it on your trailer and then it should well give us the option to fasten that okay perfect how's that even possible that there's not a mess i guess because it's so few chickens for the size of the pen, that must be why they're 
not making a mess. Now, obviously, this is ridiculous that I'm hauling uh, this big trailer with just one box of eggs, but I'm just showing you the process so you know how it's done. So you want to go here to this menu and we want to find the eggs. Do you, do, 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 do. Eggs. Look at this. Now this is for a thousand liters and we're not going to have anywhere near that, but we can go to the ranch for 33, 35. Oh, these prices are going wonky because I didn't slow this back down. You know what? It doesn't really matter. We'll put it back on five. So the ranch, we need to find the ranch, I believe is this one up here. So do we want to snake it through those or do we want to just go down here? All right. So while we take our little drive here, unless I wouldn't think the spinnery, the barn, or the restaurant would give us more. Oh, the restaurant. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we'll just zip over to the restaurant. You can see how it works. And then we'll be all done. So I went, <laughs> I went to get this bucket to show you. So basically, let me just summarize what you do. You have to put the bucket down all the way to the ground and your temptation is to do this right see the front wheels are going up don't take it that far down i actually recommend sort of zooming in uh if you can I'm having trouble getting it exactly the way i want it but you basically put it level and then when you go along it'll it'll pick it up and then you just go like pick it up like this and dump it back out and it'll go back in the trough and then you're good to go. It's really not that difficult. I don't necessarily need to show you in a tutorial. I just was going to because I thought it would be moderately helpful. But we'll run over and, and drop off these eggs at the restaurant to see. Uh, it'll probably be like five dollars because I don't know how long it was sitting there. But even still, understanding the process, everything from loading the game to making your first profits. Might as well check it out, right? We're gonna double check the. Oh, I guess I could have done. I could do this map. So we're gonna keep going straight up here, and then instead of going to the shop as we've done twice already, we'll make a left-hand turn and head down to the restaurant. I really like that they incorporated this ability to have animals and also sell their products and make it feel like you're you're doing something you're contributing all right so I'm gonna unstrap that and it should let me this is a little bit tricky I, I think they could oh okay it, it let me pick it up and then immediately drop it. Okay, it sold. Six dollars. Called it. All right. Well, hopefully you feel like you've learned something. Uh, put a spotlight on my Massey Ferguson here. Hopefully you, you feel like you've, you've learned something about how to set up a chicken farm. Hopefully you've had a little bit of fun watching the tutorial. If you have questions about uh, buying chickens, buying the pen, where to put it, how to customize it, any of those kind of things, feel free to leave me a question uh, down in the comments. If you like the video, I'd love to hear that too. If you have recommendations or suggestions for another one of these tutorials you'd like me to, to put together, uh, I've now done all of the different livestock options, so I'm going to move on to probably some modded content and maybe uh, even consider a Let's Play. So if you're interested in any of those kinds of things, uh, Leave a comment down below, give me a nudge in the right direction, and I'll see what I can do. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out the uh, the episode here, and I will catch you next time.